Hi class, uh, the first thing I want to do today is go over the setup for Lab 9. Um, there is a picture of it somewhere on the internet, but I've decided to just make a little film of it for you. Okay, in regard to Lab 9, the idea behind it is it is a sort of a pseudo-practical in the sense that you work, you're supposed to work somewhat independently and we're not going to go over every inch of the procedure with you. That does not mean you can't ask questions and it does not mean that we are constantly looking over your shoulder and writing down every little mistake you made. It's just simply not like that, okay? We are behind you 100% and even if we're being a little quieter, we're behind you 100% all the time. Positive support, positive energy. Okay, but what I want to do is show you how to build the apparatus, okay? The apparatus is analogous to the reflux apparatuses that you built in the last weeks. Although it will not reflux, and you will not be applying heat because the reaction itself is exothermic and will produce its own heat. It doesn't require heat. Okay, so what you will need is a stir plate, and again, this is one of my very crude drawings, so I don't know how this is going to come out. Okay, this is a stir plate. The stir plate can be clamped to the monkey bars. Don't forget about the monkey bars. Monkey bars are great. We put in tens of thousands of dollars worth of monkey bars, and sometimes people just completely stop using them. The stir plate has on its back its own clamp that be, can be clamped to the monkey bars. You do not need a platform under this thing. So clamp it to the monkey bars elevated. Okay. On top of this will go a flask, probably, it really doesn't matter what flask you use, but probably a 50 milliliter or a 100. It really doesn't matter. You could use a 100. I would say use a 100. Okay. Then on top of this, you're going to use the Claisen adapter. Notice my very bad drawing here. <laughs> this is a Claisen adapter. Okay, this is the neck of the flask. Now in the bottom of the flask will go a stir bar, magnetic stir bar, okay, and your reagents. Okay. On top of this, on the curved part of the Claisen adapter, I would put your condenser. I'm trying very hard to draw a reasonable looking condenser. Of course, as you know, my hands shake a lot. I have a tremor. And when I try to do things, my hands shake. Okay, so this is just a standard reflux condenser. Water in, water out. Okay, this is a Claisen adapter. It's that curved adapter. These little marks are meant to represent the joints, okay? Then, on top of this joint, you should have your pear-shaped, drawn very out of proportion here. Well, let me write that over again. That's terrible. Okay. You guys have seen me draw in class. You know how bad it is when I have a marker in my hand. So you'll have your pear-shaped adapter going in there. This is a little uh, 25 milliliter, you've been using it a lot, 25 milliliter addition funnel. I also call it the pear shaped adapter. Now up here, this is where the bleach goes. That's not a good spelling of bleach. The bleach goes. Okay, so the bleach is going to go up there. When you start the reaction, the reagents will be down here. And when you start the reaction, you're going to run in some of this bleach, okay, and we'll help you with that. Now as far as clamping goes, always, this week especially, you want to show that you know how to do things, always put a clamp on the neck of your flask, okay? It's probably a good idea to put a clamp up here. Maybe even a clamp on this piece here, clamp. The most clamps I would put on this are maybe three clamps. Okay? So I hope this makes some sense. 
Okay, again, stir plate, not a heat plate, 100 milliliter um, round bottom, Claisen adapter. This is a standard condenser. Notice the top is open. The bleach is going to go into this addition funnel, which you've been using as a separatory funnel. I hope this equipment looks somewhat familiar to you. Okay? So I'll see you in class, and again, we are happy to help you. Don't worry if you need some help.